What up, everybody? It's your boy Phil Risden, and I'm here making this video because comedian Dave Lucas has fucked up again. And this time, I don't think I can bail him out. But before we get started, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and let's get into it. David interviewed Kyle Rittenhouse. For those of you who are overseas or maybe just don't watch the news for some reason and haven't paid attention to anything that's happened in the last four to five years, Kyle Rittenhouse was a very, very important figure in 2020. During a George Floyd protest, when he was 17 years old, Kyle decided to grab an AR-15, cross state lines, and go to a George Floyd protest to, quote-unquote, protect businesses. He ended up getting into a scuffle with a group of people, which resulted in the death of two individuals in that group. And I'll say this, even though I think Kyle Rittenhouse was an idiot, even though I think he had a bit of a God complex and was probably brainwashed by Fox News and all these right-wing sites you go to watch all this propaganda and he thought he was the thin line between order and chaos what happened to him was still self-defense you have to admit that you cannot sit here and pretend as if it wasn't just because you want the narrative to be different that being said there's no reason to be interviewing this guy and humanizing him as if he was some martyr who just was in the wrong place at the wrong time because we know that's not what he was and that's my problem with david lucas doing this thing i have no issue with interviewing controversial people. You know, I know a lot of people don't really like Joe Rogan. I actually love Joe Rogan as far as his podcast goes. You know, I've watched tons of different episodes about it. I'm also, when it comes to entertainment and free thinking, I am a pretty objective person where I don't really care if you, you can interview somebody who's terrible. You can interview somebody who's great. My one issue is if you have somebody that's terrible on your show, you have to hold their feet to the fire. And I'm not saying that it has to be a hit piece, but for as many good, kind-hearted questions you have for them, you have to have just as many hard-hitting questions that a lot of their critics want to know. And if you're not doing that, you're doing a disservice and you're actually adding to the bullshit and propaganda that's already on the media. Real quick, guys. May 31st, 10 p.m. in the Upper West Side, Top Notch Comedy is back at Mochi Dulce. It's going to be a great show. We have some of the best comics in the city. Comics from Netflix, SNL, MTV, any show you like, we got them. And there might even be a few special guests. So make sure to grab tickets to that because tickets are going fast. Click the link in the description to get your tickets now or scan the QR code. 18 online and 25 at the door. We'll see you there. Peace. Honestly, this goes deeper than Dave Lucas. I think the real problem is that journalism is dead and the entire interview sector has been taken over by celebrities and retired pro athletes. Back in the day, if you wanted to get off a real interview, you used to have to talk to somebody like Barbara Walters, someone like Walter Cronkite or whatever, a media journalist who was trained to interview celebrities and important influential people. But now the only people who are going to be interviewing you are other celebrities. They don't want proper Walters. They want Shannon Sharp, the worst interviewer to ever exist on the face of the earth. Phenomenal football player, phenomenal sports analyst slash debater. But as far as being a interviewer, he's garbage. I, I, I truly think there is no one worse. And of course, this turns into this whole thing where it's not an interview, it's a conversation. Fuck you. It's a goddamn interview. And you're wasting everybody's time. And that's what David Lucas is trying to do. But it sucks even more that David Lucas is doing it because David Lucas is clearly smarter than Shannon Sharp. So he knows what he's doing. He's doing this interview simply to humanize Kyle Rittenhouse instead of asking the questions that we all want to know and trying to let us have the responsibility of making our own decision. I've seen a lot of black people kind of talk about him very, very badly. And I understand it. I understand it. But I will say, even though I don't like him, I am happy that someone like him exists because I think for so long, being a black person has just been a monolith it's been one type of person you have to talk exactly this way you have to have these exact same views and if you don't you're not black we can just take this 
black card away from you, which is the most hilarious thing in the world because, you know, no matter what your views are or how you talk, if you have this skin, the cops are still stopping you. But we like to live in this fantasy world that that only happens to certain black people and this, that, and the third. And why I love that David Lucas can do this is simply because that means that we're in this new era of black individuality. And you kind of see it. We have all these different black artists creating tons of music and different genres of music. We have people like Candace Owens who exists 20, 30, 40 years ago someone like that would completely be thought of as despicable in the black community. And I'm not saying that tons of people don't disagree with her. They do, but she still has this right to exist as a black woman within the culture, which I'm happy for, even though I don't appreciate anything she says or does. I think it's time that we start reaching this level of black independence. And when you reach this level of black independence, you're going to have a lot of people do a lot of sucker shit, bro. That's just what it is. For every Beyonce country album, you're going to get a nigga like David Lucas putting on a school shooter guy talking about how he was a misunderstood kid. But I will admit, it is frustrating to see. And he does need to do a little bit better. I'm not even against having somebody who may or may not be a white supremacist or whatever. But if you're going to do it, once again, you have to hit them hard. You don't just have them on for some calm ass peace. Kyle Rittenhouse is David Lucas's Cat Williams. Let that sink in. This man is a goofball. I think one thing we can all agree is regardless of if somebody is black, white, or anything in between, when it comes to the internet, a lot of dudes do a lot of lame stuff for clicks. But what do you guys think? Do you think David Lucas is actually cool for having Kyle Rittenhouse on? Or do you think he's corny for doing it? Sound off in the comments. Let's talk about it. That's been the video. I'll see you later. Peace.